Garfield versus the comment section. Can you make him into a scarf? Scarfield. Short answer, yes. Long answer, why? I'll draw the scarf, just draped kind of nice. Almost like you could just stick your head through it on a cold winter's day. And I guess that answers that question. All right, Scarfield. Next comment. In a style you could post on r slash I'm sorry John. r slash I'm sorry John, if you don't know, is a subreddit wherein people draw almost Lovecraftian Garfields. Freaky looking Garfields, SCP looking Garfields. This is the original I'm sorry John post that it all stemmed from. It should also be worth noting that there's an I'm really sorry John. Just don't go there. Garfield. Ah, oh, you silly cat. All right, next comment. Garfield, but make him an Insta baddie. All right, I'll give Garfield like a crop top tracksuit with a turtleneck, some filler disruptors down the bottom, hoops, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the Garfield, lasagna on the beanie like a bootleg Thrasher logo. All that is missing from this is a profile pic of a Powerpuff Girl and a username like ASAP Lasagna. This one's from YouTube. Garfield as a medieval cat painting. If you've never seen a medieval cat painting before, this is gonna be a big moment for you. For some reason they couldn't paint cats. They just couldn't do it. Look at these dumb faces, they're stupid. It's not like they didn't have cats. They just couldn't do it. Give him eyebrows. Look at this cat. This cat has eyebrows. I'm gonna give Garfield eyebrows. Look at that wonky cat. Look at that wonky face. This all exists now. Yay. All right, next comment. Let's see some Super Saiyan Garfield happening straight out of Dragon Ball Z. Fabulous idea. I'll give him those realistic muscles that Dragon Ball Z is known for. Just super natural, normal pecs. Not on steroids at all. Not trying to beat me up after Stereo Sonic because someone didn't sleep with him. I'll make sure he's still got Garfield's weird feet down the bottom though, because I think that's funny. <sighs> Good God. What do you do when this is your life, you know? When your mum calls and says, have you had a kid yet, Campbell? And you say, no, mum, I'm busy drawing Super Saiyan Garfield. All right, next comment. As a Jim's mowing logo. For the non-Australians watching this, this is a Jim's mowing logo. Look at all the variants. Jim's a busy man. And what's this? He also makes lasagna. I'll copy the color scheme, that deep olive green, and I'll give Garfield the same skin tone as Jim. That doesn't look weird at all. If there's any Jims out there who are thinking about starting a business that exclusively sells lasagna, then you want 100% have my permission to use this as your logo. Quentin Blake, Maurice Sendak, Tommy DePaola. I guess I'm just gonna pick one of them and I think Maurice Sendak will be the funniest. We all know where the wild things are. I'm gonna draw Garfield as a wild thing. Chunky body, awesome hands and feet, that big nose, still Garfield's eyes, lots of cross hatching, lots of shading, pretty much lines everywhere. That's nice. Firstly, I like the drawing. I, I'm kind of proud of it. But secondly, I just like his expression. I feel like I'm scared of him, but I also want to cuddle him. Kind of like a shopping mall Santa. Garfield as lasagna. Corroborated by YouTube. Garfield as literal lasagna. I don't know how much there is to say about this. I'll draw his face sticking out the front of a lasagna. His ears poking out the top, arms out the side, tail out the back. Stick him on a plate, ooze down some cheese, and just think about life. For the ninth art style, combine the previous eight art styles. All right, let's get it over and done with. I'll put the Scarfield around his neck, give him the left arm from an I'm sorry John post, Instabatty hoops, lips, nails, and hair, the ears and tail of a medieval cat, the chest and abs and right bicep of Super Sand Garfield, the Jim's mowing bucket hat, beard, and mustache, the Maurice Sendak legs and feet, and a tummy made out of lasagna. <gasps> Oh my god, you know, over the years I've seen a lot of my work get tattooed on people and it always makes me quite happy to see, but I don't think anything would make me quite as happy as if I saw this permanently on somebody's skin. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new, stick around. I'm on all these socials. If you feel like supporting, this is some of the stuff that I sell on my website. Shirts, coloring books, apparel, prints. Also, I'm gonna do this again next week with Buzz Lightyear. So let me know in the comments how you wanna see him drawn. I had a lot of fun doing it, so feel free to get real weird. Catch ya.